Good morning, unicorns. Hi for KWSC News. I'm Eleanor. And I'm Liam. And, and today is Thursday, December 8, 2022. It's the 69th day of school. Let's stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. At WSE, we reach for the stars. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. And now for some words of wisdom from Principal Bailey. Good morning. We're talking about being selfless or not being selfish this week. Have you been thinking about it? Have you noticed that it kinda feels better sometimes to be selfless instead of selfish? Well, boys and girls, sometimes not being selfish does sting a little. Sometimes if you are really thinking of somebody else and putting their needs before your own, sometimes it stings and it's hard because being selfless goes against your nature. And we all just want things, right? We want to be happy. We want the good stuff for ourselves. It's just our nature. But when we go against that, sometimes it's hard to do. But I still challenge you to do it. So I want you to think today about something you could do or something you could give someone else. It's going to be hard to do. So like maybe there's something you want to watch on TV and a brother or sister would rather do something else or see something else. And you got to give that up to give them what they want. And it's not really what you want to do and it stings a little. That's what I want you to do. That's the challenge I want to give you today. To think of a way that you can be selfish, it kind of stings a little because you really want something or you want to do something and you don't for someone else. Because I want you to see how good that actually feels in the end. When you're doing it, it's hard. But afterward, it feels pretty good. You feel good about yourself. And it gives you a joy inside for giving up something that you wanted yourself for somebody else. If it's your time, if it's something, a toy, if it's whatever it might be that might sting a little, I challenge you to do it so you can feel how good that feels. It really takes it up another level, being selfless. And I think you'll find the more you think about helping others and doing for others and putting them before yourself, I think if you continue doing that, you'll see that that's what gives you real lasting happiness. That joy inside that it's hard to fill. You can really only fill it when you are putting others first. So there's something to think about today. And have a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. It's time for our words of the week. Listen for wow words in this story. Jamie was a very diligent student who usually completed all of her assignments on time. But last week, her teacher had assigned a project, and Jamie did not know how to get started. She was completely baffled. So Jamie procrastinated. She delayed doing anything until two days before the assignment was due. She dawdled on the way to the library, and when she got there, she found some books to read, and the library was very tranquil and quiet that day. She just couldn't concentrate. She knew she was in trouble. Her project was due on Friday, and she hadn't even chosen a topic. She contemplated her problem and finally decided she better, better ask her mom for help. Sometimes you procrastinate because you just can't seem to get started. So whether it's a school assignment or a household chore, ask for some help. It's usually much easier once you take a first step. 
Don't forget, you can subscribe to Walnut Springs Announcements on YouTube. Here is Leah with your lunch choices. Friday, choice one, cheese pizza. Choice two, pepperoni slices. And choice three, sun butter and jelly sandwich. Now, back to the studio. This is Carla. Let's see what the birthdays are for today, December 8th. Happy birthday to Olivia! Happy birthday. And here's Ben with his daily joke. What does snowman eat for breakfast? I don't know. What do snowman eat for breakfast? Snowflakes. Ha ha. Here's what's happening. Thursday. First and second grade will have a musical performance tonight. They will be meeting in the music room for their final rehearsal today. First grades is at 5.30 and second grades is at 6.30. There will be a choir field trip tomorrow. How many days until Christmas vacation? Nine school days. The library's cardboard gingerbread house contest is due Monday. Make a house out of cardboard and other non-food materials and bring it to the library on Monday. We will vote for our favorites next week. We are dressing up every day for Christmas. Tomorrow we'll be rocking around the Christmas tree, dressed like a Christmas rock star. It's day six. Enjoy this holiday story by Mrs. Cheryl, Stickman. Let's see what today's weather will be. Here's your weather for Thursday. The high for today is 80 and the low for today is 66. There may be some possible storms and partly cloudy in the afternoon. Stay tuned for Thinking Thursday. And have an awesome day, unicorns. Be, be safe, safe, respectful, and, and responsible. responsible. See, See you next time. time. Hi, everyone. It's Thinking Thursday. Don't forget to leave your answers in the Thinking Thursday box outside the library. We will, I will draw a winner and announce it tomorrow. Here's your riddle. What two things are wanted for Christmas? Please turn off this presentation. Please turn off this presentation. Have a great day.